Welcome to the Big Four Accounting Firms podcast brought to you by BigFourAccountingFirms.com. In today's podcast, I wanted to discuss a question from a listener or rather a viewer on YouTube uh, for the last podcast regarding the Peter Principle. And they, they brought up a good question where they, they said, how do you make sure that you don't get stuck shuffling papers? Because in that podcast, I said it's it's easy to get promoted, but you can also get stuck shuffling papers. And what I meant by that was that you can get promoted easily at the lower levels up to manager. But once you reach the manager level, it's easy to get stuck shuffling papers, opening codes, uh, managing clients, managing the admin on the clients, doing the same thing on your book of clients year over year. Um, it's easy to get stuck in that mode and making a partner's life easier while you're also not learning and improving your brand. So the way that you, how do you prevent that from happening? Well, there's a lot of things and it's not easy to prevent that from happening because then you'd have a lot more partners and a lot more senior partners, but people get stuck in the manager level and, um, and that's just, it's just very typical, but Sometimes it's as easy as just being in the right place at the right time and they need a partner um, because some partners do different things than others and some just have one account and their one account is literally like all they do is admin for that account or or a form of admin for that account. For example, they might ma manage all the projects on one of the firm's largest accounts and your only job is to shuffle papers. So in that case, it would be good to shuffle papers because you'd be a millionaire shuffling papers. But in other respects, you don't want to be a manager on a bunch of small clients where you're just worried about billing, uh, utilization, making sure that the same things are done year over year on an audit, et cetera. And, and prod and things aren't really changing on those clients. The client's not really active. It's just, you're just doing the same old thing. And you're not necessarily going to move up as easy. You might, it, might, it might take a longer period of time to move up. Um, if you try and move to industry, it's going to be a little bit more difficult because you're not getting the experience in the areas you need. So what, what I was trying to say is that early on in your career, you shouldn't leave the big four accounting firms because you're going to get, you're going to move up and you're going to move up easier. But the Peter principle I was saying is, is you get, you'll get stuck at a level eventually. And the m easiest way to do that in the big four is to just get stuck um, doing admin and to get out of that rut, you need to, sw you need to be active. You need to ask to do other things or you need to switch groups. Or at that point you might want to leave the big four, go to work in industry so that you can see something else so that you can expand your resume, do something different because the one way that industry is definitely different is that you don't do as much admin and it depends on where you go when you go in industry, but by and large, you're not going to be doing as much admin as you would in the big four. And so you can specialize more in something else or even if that's not typical, that might not typically be the case. I think it is then you need to be careful of which, industry, the industry client company that you end up at, that you interview for, you want to interview for, um, an industry role where you're going to grow or that's a really good brand to put on your name. And then you can come back into the big four with more respect because the big four respects you more when you have you know, a big industry client on your name and they can, they, they could leverage that in different ways. Um, I mean, you can leverage it because you grew your network and that's one of the other things you can do when you go into industry is join networking groups, build a big network, and then utilize that for your career or utilize that to go back to the big four and have a bigger pool of potential clients. There's a lot of ways to do it, but, but if you feel like you're getting stuck in your career, which I don't think for the most most competent people is going to happen at the associate or senior associate level. It's going to happen at the manager and senior manager levels. Then you're, you're going to need to be more active and you're going to need to keep your eye out and, and you'll know, like, it's not going to be, 
it's not going to be a surprise. And your partner, your coach, whatever you want to call them, there's different uh, words for them in the big four. Um, you're going, they're going to start hemming and hawing about your progress. They're going to be giving you excuses about why you're not getting promoted. Uh, they're going to be giving you a lot more responsibilities. They're going to give you, and then with those responsibilities, they're going to give you harder metrics to meet. They're going to tell you how people are doing a better job than you. You'll know when that moment comes. And that's when you need to be proactive. And if you're not proactive, then you're just going to get stuck. And some people are okay getting stuck. It's fine. As long as you, as long as you manage it correctly, because a lot of times like being stuck is okay, as long as you're making a good salary. But if you're not making a good salary and you're stuck, then that's obviously the place you do not want to be. But I just wanted to add some clarification there. I also wanted to encourage people if they have questions or anything like that, um, you can you can ask them on YouTube. That's the way this person asked, and that that's where um, I get a lot of the the questions from, and I respond as I see them. So I don't respond to every single one. So, um, but just to let you guys know, but if you do have a question, um, you can ask it there. We also have a page on Quora where people ask questions too. So um, make sure to check those out and check out the show notes to the podcast. Thanks for listening.